from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Conga, Connect West 2018. Brought to you by Conga. But that, hey, welcome that's back that's everybody. Helpful. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are winding down a very busy day here at the Conga Connect West. We're here at Salesforce. Benioff confirmed it in the, uh, the keynote, 171,000 registered people. Hard to believe, we got about wow. 3,000 of them here. Wow. Hosted by Conga, free drinks, free food, a lot of entertainment. Come on down, they're open for three days and the invitation is open. And we're really happy to have two very special guests here as we wrap up the day. We have Matt Schiltz, he's the CEO of Conga. Matt, great to see you. Great to be here. And with him is Ryan Westwood, the CEO and co-founder of Simplest. Ryan, great to see you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, so first of all, Matt, great event. Uh, you know, you said you guys did this last year. Yep. Super way to get the community together, your customers together, your people together. Big investment. It's a big investment, but it's, you know, it's a celebration of our customers. And uh, we have the most amazing, loyal customers that I've ever seen, so uh, we like to get together at least once a year. So this is not only our Dreamforce celebration, but this is our Conga Connect user group here as well. Right. So, um, no, we're excited. So it's interesting, right? We do a ton of shows and everybody wants to get customers on. We love to have customers on. They're hard to get on either because they yes. can't speak or it's sure. a strategic advantage or you know the whole bunch sure. of reasons. I think we've only done about six or seven, eight interviews here today, and we had three customers on. So, you know, nice uh, testament to, to what you guys are doing. Yeah, we... And we, Ryan, tell us about Simplest. We've been hearing about Conga all day. Tell us about Simplest. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, Simplest started out as a Salesforce partner specifically to Stillbrick. So Stillbrick was an independent software vendor like, like Conga mm -hmm. that was built on Salesforce and Salesforce acquired Stillbrick a few years ago. And we started out implementing Stillbrick and then when they were acquired by Salesforce, we took an investment from Salesforce and really have scaled alongside of Salesforce CPQ. But we kind of saw the emergence of CLM like we did CPQ, where we felt like this is, this is the future, there's a big opportunity, there's a lot of white space. And so when we met with Conga and the team, we were just even more excited. You know, we knew that the technology in the market had a big opportunity, but then to have the experience of Matt and Bob and his team combined, we were excited to partner and go to market with Conga, just like we did with Steelbrick. So we've really made our brand on being kind of ahead of the market and, and really seeing what's happening and implementing the technologies that are at the cutting edge of the Salesforce ecosystem. Yeah, and, 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 a, and a big ecosystem it is with the 170,000 people Absolutely. running around. Absolutely, <laughs> Absolutely. And Matt, you, you've got this crew together. You know, we've heard time and time again today with a lot of people that have worked with you in the past, so you've got a pretty good formula, a pretty good team of folks that you've executed with, talk about the importance of that, where you know you've got trusted lieutenants, people you've kind of done this before with, to be able to bring them together, coalesce a relatively new team, to take this thing to the next level. Yeah, you know, we were talking a little bit off the air that, uh, you know, Ryan runs a services company, so everyone believes that's a people business, right? And then they meet me, you know, I get it in social situations, what do you do? Oh, I'm CEO of a software company. They're like, oh wow, it'd be great to have a technology like that. I'm like, wait a second, it's a people business. We don't have, I tell our employees every time we get together, we don't have a factory that's stamping out widgets. Like, this is a people business. It's an interconnected people business, actually. So I tell people, you know, marketing sneezes and you know, sales catches a cold. I right. mean, we are all just completely joined at the hip. So for me to have the honor of working with people second, third, fourth time in some of these companies, um, you know, it's, it's pretty incredible. Um, very blessed. And uh, it doesn't hurt that they're really good at what they do, too. Yeah, well, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And Ryan, you've got an interesting take, too. You're, you're kind of a leadership uh, studier. You like to interview people, you've written a lot of, of blog posts. So what is it about, you know, kind of the leadership study that helps keep you going, makes you tick? You know, I think, I think as an entrepreneur, you realize over time how much you don't know. And it's, it's amazing to surround yourself with other entrepreneurs or CEOs that have experienced things you haven't. And so through those platforms, Wall Street Journal or Forbes, the writing I've done has been amazing for education. So, you know, I think I've interviewed 60 plus tech CEOs. 
uh, you know, public, private, uh, all kinds of different different sizes of, of companies, and I have learned so much. It's been a, it's a, been a really fun journey. You know, the the time I've spent with Matt and Bob and some entrepreneurs or CEOs like like they are, there's just so much to, to learn. So I, I've enjoyed sharing my journey with other people and writing about it through the Forbes platform for the last four or five years. Such a great, it's such a great lesson. I'm reading, I just pulled it up, I'm reading Sapiens right now. I don't know if you've read that book. Great book no. by Yuval Harari. He's just come out with a new one called Think 21st Century, but he's a historian, great historian. And he talked about one of the big changes to go to a scientific-based world was when people decided they didn't know everything. Mm -hmm. right. And embrace the fact right. that we didn't know everything. And let's ask questions. Why does right. the sun come up over there? Why does the moon? And where before it was you know, kind of an edict from on high and everything is fine and we'll just keep it though. So I think that's a really you know, smart, smart strategy to say. I love to learn from new people. That's what I love about this job. I get to talk to, uh, to smart guys like you. So let's talk about kind of where Kong is going. Um, you've got all these connected parts, talked to a bunch of people you've cut, brought in through acquisitions, and you've got this thread that seems to weave through all the applications, workflow weaves through the applications. You've got document creation that ties back to managing your contracts. Interesting how those things tie together. And now AI, you're going to have yeah. this kind of AI infusion as we talk to people all the time. No one's going to go buy a bucket of AI. What I want is AI infused in all the applications that I interface to make them work better. So that's what's coming down. You got to be excited about that. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, the opportunity in front of us is amazing. This is the third company, uh, I'm old, this is the third company I've been CEO of in the electronic document space. So I've been in this space for 20 years now. And to see where we've come in 20 years is, uh, it's, it's inspiring, it's amazing. Um, you know, if you look at the num just the sheer numbers and size of market, Conga really started, in my mind, in our mind, in our team's mind, back when we were all at DocuSign. So I was, as you know, I was CEO of DocuSign, uh, joined the company in January 2007, uh, and we really put the team back together that built the early days of that company. But we had a vision back then around digital document transformation, and it, it included electronic signing, but electronic signing was a small part of that. And so we've been working really hard, as you mentioned, building product, uh, we've made some key acquisitions, and we've built out the first digital document transformation suite in the industry. So all the way from collaborating, creating documents, to managing those documents, to negotiating them, to full contract lifecycle management with electronic signing, a state-of-the-art orchestration layer to build those productively for customers with an AI platform, Conga AI, uh, supporting the entire platform. Uh, this product group's like a dream come true for us. It's 20 years in the making, and uh, we're so excited. We've now released it to the market. The company's growing like crazy. Uh, you know, we've been named um, the fastest growing ISV in the entire Salesforce ecosystem. We have the highest volume downloaded app in the entire app exchange. And uh, we've been rated the top, from a customer satisfaction standpoint, the number one ISV in the entire Salesforce ecosystem. So, either a blind squirrel found a nut or we've, we're onto something here. Yeah. Like, we've, this is a hot market. Customers like what we're doing. We're just going to keep growing and doing more. Yeah, yeah. and we heard yeah. the announcement earlier today about that Salesforce actually integrating some of your product functionality yeah. directly into some of their offerings, which yeah, is we're a great validation. Pretty excited and proud of that. You know, Salesforce does not, I mean with very few exceptions, like count them on three fingers kind of exceptions that I know of, ever resells uh, anyone else's product, let alone resell it with their co-branding. And so Salesforce announced here at Dreamforce that they're reselling Conga's products now. So um, Conga uh, quote generation for, uh, is being co-branded with Salesforce and sold along with invoice generation. Um, uh, so it's, I'm stumbling over the words because it's stunning that, yes. that uh, it's been a few years in the making but we have a really strong relationship with Salesforce. Uh, uh, we publicly announced they're an investor in the company. 
Uh, we're one of their top global ISV partners. So it was, it was in some regards a very natural thing for them to say, we're going to build our document generation around our strongest partner. Right. Well, yeah. it's always good to hook your uh, to hook your wagon to a rocket ship, and as evidenced by the very large building just outside these doors. Yeah. I think you picked a good one. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, what an amazing company. So, my time with them dates back to when I was CEO of DocuSign. So, we did when I was there. We did the first ISV deal of its kind with Salesforce. This was in 2009 and then brought them in as an equity investor in the company. So I've always, Salesforce has been always near and dear to my heart and, and a really amazing partner. Um, I've been, this is my, I think my 10th or 11th Dreamforce. And uh, so I'm all in, like well, the company's all in. This is, we're all, all on the Salesforce bandwagon, definitely. Well, looks like the, looks like the bet's paying off, so uh, congratulations to you and well, the team. Thanks, and thanks. We've got a lot hard. of work to do, but Absolutely. it's going well. All right, yeah. well thanks for taking a few minutes, Ryan, Matt, and uh, again, congratulations on a really great event. I think, the, I think they're turning people away at the door. It's like two people out, two people in. <laughs> so, uh, and thanks for having like us. Like I say, it's nice to throw a party and have somebody show up. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Yeah, All right. Great. He's Matt, he's Ryan, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're at the Conga Connect West at Salesforce Dreamforce in San Francisco. Thanks for watching.